Hello, David here, and the project for today is reviewing this tire pressure gauge. It's made by a company called Eaton Wolf or Etten Wolf. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's kind of like Steppenwolf without the steps. I heard about it from a YouTube channel called Project Farm, which uh, this guy tests all kinds of products, and his tests are extremely thorough. He's got a lab where he can do all these exhaustive tests on products and if you're not a subscriber I recommend that you subscribe to his channel and he didn't just review this one tire pressure gauge he tested a whole range of gauges digital analog electronic non-electronic and uh, there are a lot of good ones and uh, this is the one he recommended as a, a budget tire pressure gauge this came in at about eleven dollars the, there were others that uh, tested very well that uh, he recommended for uh, for higher price products. Anyway, let's see what's in the box. It's made in Communist China, and uh, I see they have a uh, phone number to call if you have any questions. Uh, the range is 3 pounds to 200 pounds per square inch. Accuracy is reported to be um, one half of a pound per square inch. Operating temperatures from 130 degrees Fahrenheit to 4 degrees below Fahrenheit. And in Celsius, that's uh, minus 20 to 54 degrees. And it's got some type of airlock that seals the, uh, the uh, unit from leaking any air. Instruction sheet, I guess I better read that. Here's the product. Okay, it's got a one way button there. Comes with two batteries. These are uh, AAA batteries. I'll install the batteries and read the directions. Here's how to open the battery tray, squeeze both sides over here, and pull out. One thing you're going to notice is there's nothing on the unit to show the polarity of the batteries. So you're going to have to go to the instruction sheet. Instructions are in English, Spanish, French, and German. And I see that the positive is out on the top and the negative is out on the bottom. So let's put positive out here. Negative out there and push it home. Push the button to turn on the gauge. The, L the gauge will display zero, zero, zero on the LED screen. Okay, there we go. Push the nozzle of the gauge on the tire valve. Press firmly to ensure a good seal. So no air is escaping. Hold the gauge on the valve until the reading locks. And then read the pressure on the screen. Press the button to switch units. A measure between BAR, pounds per square inch, and KPA. Hold down the button for four seconds to turn off the gauge. Will also automatically turn off after 45 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to pit this uh, tire pressure gauge against my old pencil style, which is non-electronic, analog, made by a company called True Fiat in the United States. I've had this for uh, probably over 45 years. It's always been real accurate. Let's try it out on the car. Well, one of the reasons why... I wanted to get another tire pressure gauge is even though this is accurate you have to get the uh, the nozzle <clears throat> nozzle has to be perfectly on the tire stem if you're if it's angled slightly air will escape and you won't get a reading so it's got to be straight and you have to push down hard I suspect that the 
the rubber gasket in there is probably dried out. I don't know if you get replacements for that or not. Probably have to make one. Let's try the pencil gauge. I've always been taught to let a little smidgen of air out to uh, clear any dust that's in there so it doesn't ruin your pencil gauge. And also uh, never drop these in water or get them wet because that ruins them as well. Thirty three pounds. Thirty two pounds. Let's see, how do I clear this? Thirty one point nine pounds. Try to pencil gauge again. It's slightly under thirty three pounds. I think I'm going to trust this because it's newer. Thirty one point nine pounds. In the video you're going to see these numbers jumping around and blinking. Uh, that's a function of the shutter on my camera and in real life that's not happening. It's a it's a full bright display. Oh. Well look it also has a little flashlight on the end. Turn the lights off. Well, in the dark at night it probably works, but this is daytime. It doesn't show that much, but I'm sure that would be really helpful. And that's a wrap. I like this thing. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.